Simon, uh, Lloyd Dufray, signed for the Halifax Panthers 2022 season. Uh, how do you feel about that? Yeah, really happy. Um, spoke to Louis a couple of years ago um, when he ended up going to Fev. Um, we had a chat with him then. I've, I've known Louis quite a long, a long time. Uh, he's, he came through Warrington's Academy. He lived with Tyro McCarthy, we're good friends with him at Warrington. So, seen plenty of him over the years, and you know he's, he's bounced around a few clubs, backed himself, and I think he's done really well. And obviously, most recently, I think he transformed Whitehaven's fortunes this year. Um, with Whitehaven, he did some damage against us. Um, are you hoping that he can bring some of that to the Panthers side? Yeah, definitely. I think he's got. <laughs> And not really going to pack him on one edge at field, I don't think, when, when he plays for us. I think he likes to move around and just sort of play free, really, and instinctively and, and play what's in front of him. So I think he adds a little bit a bit of flair, you know, outside the structure and so on. Um, but yeah, he's got a great kicking game. Got a good relationship with Lachlan already. Um, did a bit of damage together this year. So yeah, looking forward to getting him in. He's, he's a pretty well-rounded player. He's, he speaks really well, a really good communicator, and he's really confident as well. So, yeah, I think he's he's definitely going to make it a really good, um, a really good competition for for jerseys in that halfback spot. It's speaking of halfbacks, his traditional six and seven role. Do you have that in your plans for next year, or is it just a case of which side of the field is going to be? Or? Uh, yes and no. Um, I think nowadays most people play left and right sided, don't they? Um, Louis can play both, um, but look at. That's something that will unfold as we get into pre-season. I've got a lot of new new faces, um, and you know, working out just because I want to play a certain way, which we will, but it can be moved around a little bit to make sure we get the best out of the individuals we have in the team as well. And that's something we'll we'll sort of work on, and it'll it'll come to the fore really as we go through training and work out how we want to be. Um, this year we had your brother going to half that kind of by default by Conor Robinson not being there. We've got three new halfback arrivals, how good is the, the competition the place is going to be for next year? Yeah, definitely. I think that was, um, had we not had Scott who was able to go up and do that that sort of role and of the game management sort of style of the game, I think we really would have struggled, to be quite honest. Um, in pre-season, I felt it, you know, we needed another halfback. We did try get another halfback in pre-season last time just to make sure there was that healthy competition there because, you know, if someone knows if they don't have a great game, it doesn't really matter. I'm not saying that because those lads weren't like that, but you know, it's easy to just get over a bad game and, and crack on with your week as normal and not try to fix things or do things a little bit differently or better, knowing that there's no one breathing down your neck. And uh, you know, we'll certainly have that this year and it'll bring out the best in the lads. Do you think he's going to have a good relationship with Kevin Leroy um, going forward as well? No, I think, well, Kevin enjoyed having Gadwin here, they're having all the chats in French and that, which were a bit rude to be quite honest, but um, yeah. It'll be, they'll be alright, they know each other a little bit already, they've, they've been in and around each other in the past. So, yeah, I think they'll be fine, but now nah, Louis, um, he's got a bit of a Warringtonian sort of twang to his voice anyway, so he'll, he'll be fine.